everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Kayla Jones for those of you who don't know so today is going to be another Kayla Talks upcoming Georgia releases cop or drop video this is going to be for the month of April and May I know I know I've been really slacking on these so I have so many shoes to talk about so if you guys are interested in what I think then just keep on watching Alright guys, something happened to the sound, but on the 1st of April, the Jordan 1 Royals came out, and I will list the prices on the screen. Also, a pair, two pairs of Jordan 1 Lowe's, OG Lowe's or whatever, came out the same exact day. Those retailed for $140, and they came out in two colorways, like I said. One was black, and the other one is this, like, ice blue color, I believe. And those are a drop for me. I don't really like the Jordan 1 lows, so those were a drop for me. Also, on the same exact day, two pairs of Jordan 6 rings came out, also in two different colors. Those retailed for $165, and those, again, are a drop for me. I do not like the 6 rings at all. Like, those are really ugly to me. Like, I really don't like those to be honest with you and we're not done yet <laughs> also on that same exact day on the 1st of april a pair of jordan 31 royals came out those retailed for 185 dollars and those of course are a drop for me if you guys have watched my previous videos you guys know that i do not go past the number 13 with my jordans after that, I don't really like them, so those, of course, are a drop for me. And on April 8th, the Jordan 13's Brave Blues came out. Those retailed for $175 for men and $120 for grade school. And those are a drop for me. I don't know. I just, I really, I don't know. I just, I wasn't feeling them. I didn't really like them. So those are a drop for me. And on the 15th of April, the Jordan 11 Low University Blues came out. Those retailed for $175 in men's and $130 in grade school. Those are a cop for me. If you guys watched my recent sneaker haul, you guys know that I went to the mall and just picked those up. I really like those. I think they're super cute. On April 22nd, the Jordan 5 Pure Platinums came out, and those retailed for $400. No, this is not alternative facts these retailed for four hundred dollars so you guys already know it's a drop for me i mean i don't know about you guys but i don't have four hundred dollars to just spend on jordans like i mean i do but i don't like who's gonna spend that money on shoes especially like those like they're not that cute and on the 29th of april a pair of jordan sevens came out for girls I'm not sure what exactly they're called, but they retailed for $140, and honestly, with those, I kind of want you guys to put that down in the comments. Like, I was in between. I didn't know, I don't know whether or not to cop or drop those, and that's really crazy because I've never felt that way about a shoe, so comment down below and let me know, and let's see who's, what wins, cop or drop. So comment down below, cop or drop for the Jordan 7s. And also on that same exact day, another pair of Jordan 7s came out, the University Blues, and those retailed for $190 for men and $140 for grade school, and those are a cop for me. I thought those were really cute, and yeah, those are definitely a cop for me, and I think that concludes all of April. So now let's get into some May cops and drops. So on May 5th, the Jordan 31 Pure Platinums came out, and those retailed for $160, and those are a drop for me for obvious reasons, and yeah. On May 6th, the Jordan 1 Metallic Reds came out. They retailed for $160 in men's and $120 in grade school, and those are a cop for me. I really, honestly, love Jordan 1s. I think they're just so classy looking. I don't know. I just... I don't know. I really, really love those. On May 13th, the Jordan 4 Pure Platinums came out. Oh my god, when I seen those, I fell in love. Those are 100% a cop for me. I unfortunately did not cop them yet. I will be hopefully soon. I don't know. I'm just trying to be a responsible adult and prioritize and like not blow my money. And if you guys just seen my recent sneaker haul, I just bought three pairs of sneakers. So I'm really trying to hold off. But... 
I don't know. We'll see how this works out. And those retailed for $190 in men's and $140 in grade school. So on the 13th of May, the Just Dawn X Air Jordan Family First Jordans came out. Those retailed for $350. Now, I know I made a big fuss about the $400 Jordans, but have a look at these Jordans and look at the color and just let me know what you think my opinion is. I'll give you a second. Now, if you really know me, you know that I chose pop <laughs> because pink is my favorite color. So the color on these shoes are beautiful to me. The price point, ridiculous. Like, I'm not going to buy them, but they are a cop. Like, that is a shoe to have in your collection for sure. Like, off the top because that color is just bomb on the 17th of may the jordan one wings came out those retail for 200 dollars, and those are going to be a drop for me i do love my jordan ones but i just it, these just really weren't doing it for me so i'm sorry but i have to drop those on may 20th the jordan one heiress come out and another jordan one that i have to drop i don't know they just weren't speaking to me I don't know, I just really had to drop those, and those retailed for $140. Also on that same day, the Jordan 11 Low Eris released, and those released for $175, so that is a little bit more on the pricey side, especially for Jordan 11 Low. Those are usually a little bit cheaper than like the regular 11s, which would probably be $175 or like $160 around there. So the Jordan 11 lows are usually like in the 120s, 130s, 40s. But the fact that these are $175, I thought they were going to be so bomb. So when I got a first little like sneak peek, the first ever picture I've seen, they had a little bit of like pink around the tongue area. I will insert the picture up here, of course. Um, so that is the first picture I've seen. So I was like, oh my god, yes, those are a cop. But closer and closer to the release date, um... It was another picture that like surfaced and it didn't have the pink in it so I was kind of like skeptical I didn't know what was gonna happen so I wanted to wait for the shoe to actually come out and when they came out they actually didn't have the pink on the tongue so I kind of changed my mind and those are a drop for me especially for that price point I will not be spending that money on those also on the 20th the Jordan 13 low pure platinums came out those retailed for $175 as well and honestly I don't know I was in between on those I wasn't really sure what I really thought I personally I don't know if I'm gonna cop them yet but I would say they are a cop for anyone who is kind of on the fence as well I think I don't know for me I don't really have that many all white shoes in my collection so I love that he kind of came out with a variety of like all white shoes and like different styles like there's 13s and 4s and 11s and 1s and all that like that's great. So I say like cop them as you, as you can and those are one of the pairs that I think would be a like dope shoe to have in your collection. On the 27th of May the Jordan 11 Low Barons come out. Those honestly when I first seen them I thought they were pretty ugly. It took me to see um, a review on it um, to really like see the colors and stuff and I kind of fell in love with it. I personally will not be getting it but I think they'll be like really cute for like my boyfriend. I really hope he gets them. And the price on those I'm not sure yet um, as of right now. When I do find out, if I do find out before I start editing this video, I will of course insert it on the screen. But as of right now, I do not know what the price on those shoes are going to be. Also, on that same exact day, the Jordan 11 Low Blue Moons come out. And honestly, I am a lover of the 11s, but these I do not love. And those, I don't know, they're just going to be a drop for me. Also, I do not know the price point on those right now. But like I said about the other ones, I will insert them up here if I do find out. If not, I will try to link it below some when I find out. That is all for my April and May cops and drops. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. 
And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for all of the love and the support and for being patient with me. I know I wasn't uploading videos. I went ghost basically for like three weeks and I still was gaining subscribers and comments and likes and all of that. You guys are still showing love even though I was gone and that means so much to me. And because of that, I will be coming back with more videos. So please comment down below any special videos you guys want to see. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.